sums up that song for me because it makes it so much fun and kind of rounds it off and then um, it's probably the only way that you could end that actually because basically it's one of those songs where you kind of want to keep hearing it uh, right. so you have to tell people it's the end almost to uh you know, almost for their sanity otherwise they'll be you know oh, i'll put it on again <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool I, lo- I love those sort of clever little things in music and i think that's you know for me that's what songwriting is all about is the little nuances in it um yeah that's a cracking tune i really enjoyed that and it was one that stood out you're absolutely right on the on, you know when i got the playlist um whatever it was today yesterday whenever you sent it through it was, it was one that stood out immediately it was like oh this is going to be blinding when we play on the show uh-huh. uh, and it was so yeah good shout uh, well, right on. So next up, we have another one of our favorites. This is The Sweetest Condition from their new album, We Defy Bleeding, which came out in November. The song is called Don't Cross Me. Dig this.
on the Swedish condition with Don't Cross Me off their album We Defy Oblivion. That is a fantastic tune, very industrial, like very nice nails just, but uh, nails ish. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but um, it, either way, it's a, it's a great tune, and uh, Leslie, the, the singer for the Swedish condition, has such a powerful voice. And like we said in the past, uh, she reminds us of Amy Lee from Evanescence and uh, Beth Gibbons from Forest Head. She's, like, she's got a fantastic voice. She has an absolutely brilliant voice. This is um, th this album is really really cool and well worth um, downloading and listening to. It's it's it, it just holds together so nicely um, as an album. Um, I love uh, the, I mean I, we both really like industrial music, but I love right. uh, the the real heavy grimy industrial and it's it's kind of um, for me it's fascinating because it's got that kind of almost almost digital sounding guitar do you know what i mean you know whereas right. uh for example one in five is is that kind of valve warm sounding guitar this is so the opposite it's that digital and um, almost post-industrial dystopian chronic sounding guitar that just fits so beautifully with that banging bass line. and and a shameless uh, self-promotion <laughs> yeah <it's> yeah <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just by contrast. Right. Um, but, <laughs> but we are awesome. Um, but no, it's uh, it, it just got that that whole uh, really. Um, I've said before. I think about the sweetest condition. It's uh, you know, there's a few bands that kind of I, I feel like when they make another Terminator movie, they should listen to NMS or listen to some right. bands who play and um, put one of those on. It's that kind of track uh, where it's just kind of it's almost it's not quite claustrophobic, but it's almost like paints this picture of just this horrendous dark um, <laughs> kind of place which is really really um, it's kind of angsty which I like do you know what I yeah. mean it's, it's really got that yep. uh, emotion in it which is really cool and her voice is absolutely stunning um, we love the sweetest condition it's a shame one man standing's not here because he adored them didn't oh he? yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah, um, they might be one of the bands that he wanted to lock in his basement and make, him, <laughs> you know, make them make music for yeah, you right. <laughs> just do it <laughs> You know, you know, the, I'm kind of glad you mentioned uh, the the angst of the album because, you know, I've listened to De We Defy Oblivion like like tons of times, like literally tons of times, and and the more I listen to it, the more like it's like you know, what? It's, it's a great album, but it, it's it's kind of kind of angry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, and I mean, I guess not a bad thing. It was like wow, like I, I like now like for some reason you know sometimes. The more you listen to a song, the more stuff you pick out. You you, you, you hear something you haven't heard before, and when I'm listening with, uh, with the headphones on or, or just in the car, it's like, wow! Like I never noticed. That. I was like, wow, this, this is it's a great album, but man, it, is it ever angry? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, and I, I like that. You know, some of the, some of the best music is uh, is angry music, but it really has got that going on. But it almost tricks you. Well, right, I know because the vocal is so kind of pure, it doesn't feel it, and it's only when you really start to. Like you say, it's when you play something a few times and you suddenly click and you go, that's what I like, this has got that passion and that anger in it. Exactly. Yeah, so that, that definitely was, was was positive feedback. That wasn't negative in any way, shape, or form at all. So, no, definitely. It's good. Angry and angsty is good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, we like that. next up, we have a band called Kodachrome, who we played quite a few times, just waiting on a new album, and they did send me their... Uh, last album aftermath on vinyl which was just bad as hell i mean it was awesome it's such a cool vinyl in general like i love the cover i'll have to take a picture and post it but yeah it's, it's a very very cool the fact that they did vinyl was even more cooler right so awesome. this song is, is just as good i hope this will be on, on the upcoming album i'm not sure what uh, what Alyssa and ryan are doing i'm sure they're working on and off on the album but hopefully it'll be out very very soon so this is kodakon with oh you two dig this <laughs>
to look at you Not you do Such a plain pair of fools Oh, you do Chrome with oh you two uh you know they they are a very cool band and uh the first time i interviewed them was when their first ep perla came out which is available on their band camp and a great ep and they did a couple remixes uh, uh the remix of a song called strike the gold which there is a video for as well and i talked to them and then when Arthur maps came close to coming out uh i uh uh they said well they sent me the first single off the album which is called buggy bumper which i Pretty sure we played before, Mike. I mean, I mean, I know I have uh, without you, but I might play it with you. I'm pretty sure I have actually. Pretty sure you did, yeah, yeah. I recommend. But they, they, they were so much fun. This.